Hi, welcome back to Bike Forever. So today's video is a bit of a change, looking at Commodore 64 Basic and a little program which is from the excellent uh, Commodore 64 user manual. This is the thing that arrived in the box with the computer, showed you how to use the computer, program the computer, and all sorts of cool little example programs. So on page 78 and 79 of that, um, you see this little uh, program which draws a sprite, uh, which is a little graphic um, that you can move around the screen, and that's what it does. Um, so I won't go into much of how this works, except a really quick overview. Um, the first First part there is um, setting up some registers and the display. So the display chip on the Commodore 64 is called the VIC-2. I think it, that stands for Video Interface Controller, possibly, version 2. <laughs> Not entirely sure. Um, line 20, uh, the whole line 20 is reading the sprite data in, and that's what this is. So these are sort of decimal equivalents of bit patterns which uh, make up the sprite design and you can sort of change different bits of that uh, so 255 is obviously all ones um, and all the, all the other combinations obviously in between uh, line 30 uh, to 60 is actually moving the x y position so you can see you're registering this sorry you're uh, adding uh, to the address V, which is this 53248, is one of the control registers in the VIC-2. And I believe this is the X and Y um, register uh, to control the position of the sprite. So without further ado, we'll just uh, actually clear the screen and then run it. You see the Commodore balloon flying across the screen, which... Uh, back in the 1980s, when I first got one of these computers, I thought that was pretty amazing. Uh, one of the other things as well, when you uh, so press the run stop, didn't actually do what I wanted, so I press the run stop. So that what I was trying to show is uh, the text underneath uh, sprites, if I do list again, actually the sprite appears on top of the text, which is... Um, just down to the hardware and the way the display works on Commodore 64, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, uh, not much else to show on that, but uh, it's good to get the Commodore 64 out again and uh, do a little bit of basic programming, which is just quite a f fun thing to do. Okay, well, thanks for watching and bye for now.